Hey guys, Halo Boy Vash here, and the first thing you're going to want to do with your balance charger is check the authenticity. And what you will do is go to www.skyrc.com forward slash anti fake forward slash indexing.php. And once you're there, um, you will see that it has an authentication system, and you will simply flip over your balance charger on the back as a holographic sticker and you'll have a six digit serial number code on the top of that and below you'll have a scratch off 16 digit number and you'll simply input those into these boxes and then input the random code and hit check and it will tell you from there whether you have a genuine SkyRC product or if it's fake Okay guys, I have this balance charger here set up for demonstration purposes and I'm going to show you a little bit about uh, what all it can do. And uh, first off, uh, when you open your package, um, you will get several different connections. Um, you have different ones like this, different clamp-ons. And mine actually come with a parallel charging board which I don't really use right now I have no need for it but for today I'm going to be using this connection here okay what you'll do is plug in your power And let's kill some lights so the screen will show up. Okay, there we go. That looks better. Um, as you can see, as soon as it powers on, it directly goes into a uh, lipo balance charge mode. It automatically is set at 6 amps, 7.4 volts, 2 cells. And today, what I will be using is, let's see will show up 610 milliamp 7.4 volt battery for the Hubson 502s and I've already used this battery um, a little bit it has well, maybe three quarters charge left on it close to half and uh, we'll hook it up and I'll show you some features and what you want to do is you have these two connections here and when you look at the side, you can see, let's brighten this up, you have a red and black connection. And here in these white connections is where you will plug in the balance portion. But now, let's get this set up. So, you will go red to red, black to black. And that leaves us with this portion here. And what you will do is always plug this side in first. You always go from this side first into the battery. And then this will be your last connection in. Then when you are finished, this will be your first unplugging connection all the way back to this. Just do it in reverse. So this here is a two cell battery and you will put it in the correct slot here. I have that plugged in. Okay, first up you can go to the programming. You have LiPo batteries, Life, Lilo, LIHV, NIMH, NICD, PB, and you have a battery meter. So you can check that out. It's showing that each cell in my battery, where it's a two cell battery, has 3.82 volts, 7.64 volts overall. Go back 
to our program. And I like this feature, it has a battery resistance that will test the ohms for each cell. So hit enter and it checks the battery. Now one cell has 53 milliohms, another one has 53. You can hit your status and it shows you this battery pack as it sits has a resistance of 106 milliohms. And what that means is the lower the number that you have of milliohms, the less resistance your battery is. It's functioning better, getting better connections. The higher the number will reflect um, how the performance of your battery. Like if it's getting more sluggish, not charging as well, your higher number is going to be more resistance. And uh, the higher it gets, you know, the your battery is going to eventually become useless, and that's when you'll dispose of it. Then you have different system settings. Safety timer, you have a capacity cutoff, temperature cutoff, temperature unit is in Celsius or Fahrenheit. Um, I would like to actually change that to Fahrenheit. rest time, sensitivity, key beep, buzzer beep, input power, balance connection, and you can load the factory settings. And here is your version in your firmware. And if you let this screen continue, it will show you your serial number for your unit, but I'm not going to show that. And here you have your battery memory setting. You can program different values um, if you want to store for certain batteries just for a quick um, come back and charge it up, balance charge it. You can save those there. Now, let's say we want to balance charge this battery here. I know it's not completely full. So what you'll do is under your battery program, make sure it's on LiPo battery and hit start. As it sits, I have one programmed for this already, but I want to show you how to use this. As it sits, like I said, you have 6 amps, 7.4 volts, 2 cells. And what you can do is change all of these. You can change from a balanced charge, which is probably your best option. A regular charge, fast charge, I wouldn't recommend. Storage, absolutely recommend after you get done flying to use this feature. And you've got a discharge. I also wouldn't recommend using that. But for today, I want to show you the balance charge. Now, what you will do is to change these parameters here and here, you will hit the start button. And you see it's blinking here. Now, I know my battery here is 610 milliamp hours. The safest thing to do to charge this will be at 0.6 milliamps. What you can do, you can go here to set your amps. Next, it is two cells. So you can change three cell 11.1, 4, 5, 6. And that's how you want that set up there. If you have a one cell battery, this will also charge that as well. Um, what you will do instead of balance charge, it being a one cell, you, you don't balance that, it's just one cell. Um, but what you will do is change this here to charge. And when you change it to charge and you press the start button, you can set your amps and over here, this will actually go to one cell now and drop that to 3.7 volts. So let's get back to here. We want to 
Okay. Actually, what you will have to do is go back and put that back to two, and then you can go to your balance charge. There it is. So we've got 0.6 amps, 7.4 volts. That is the safest recommended way to charge your battery. It's just one times its capacity. Um, so let's say you have a 2500 milliamp hour battery. You will charge that at 2.5 amps. Basically, just imagine a decimal at the back end of your number. You will move the decimal three places to the left and that will give you your amps that you need to charge your battery at safely. Okay, so when you are ready to actually charge, you will hold down the start button. It checks the battery. Confirm yes. Cancel stop. It gives you a few seconds to choose that. Now let's start it. And here it goes. It gives you a running time of the charge. The volts that it's displaying here will actually get up to 8.4 volts when the battery is fully charged. And there you have it. Thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate it. I hope uh, this has been informative for you so you can see, uh, just give you a little small tutorial about how to use your balance charger. It's pretty simple, but uh, as always, it could be dangerous. So you need to take proper precautions. This here, I would normally have in a lipo bag inside of a metal ammo can, but I'm just showing you some, uh, this was just for display purposes today. But again, thanks for watching and uh, have a good day.